House was one of the most popular sitcoms of the 80s and 90s. Remember this? The show was famous for its iconic theme song, San Francisco setting, and an all-star cast including legendary comedian Dave Coulier as Uncle Joey. It was a ball. It was a ball. It was a strike. It was a strike. It was a ball. Oh, so it was a ball. Thank you very much. Love you too, Carmen. Now Dave is winding back the clock and reliving his iconic TV role for an exciting new project. And Dave Coulier joins us now live out of Michigan. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on. This is exciting. Oh, it's exciting hey. for us. Full House uh, it was such a pop culture phenomenon. Even, even now, it's amazing. Uh, how did it all start for you? Do you remember the audition? I do remember the audition, and um, I auditioned for the role of Joey Gladstone, who was not named Joey Gladstone at that time. And then the producer said, thank you very much. And I walked out, and I thought, hmm. And before I left the room completely, Tom Miller, our executive producer. Role. Is it true you went to lunch with John Stamos and the show's creator? I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've just just launched a um, rewatch podcast covering every single episode. This is great. But is it true that you never actually had seen a whole show before? Yeah, I ne I'm not a big fan of watching myself. And so um, I'm, I guess I'm my harshest critic. And so um, I always thought, you know, someday I'll, I'll sit back and have a full house marathon and watch all these episodes. But we have such incredible fans that I thought, you know, I, I really, I need to really take a, a good look at this show. And when I did, we came up with the idea of Full House Rewind. And I, I get to actually laugh at myself now, which is which is a lot of fun. So when you did sit down and actually watch it, what what is it that surprised you about it? The love that permeates through the show. Yeah. I mean, we really love each other off camera, but it's hard to fake that on camera chemistry. And we really had that, and we really do care about each other. And to this day, Jody Sweeten and Andrea Barber texted me today, how are you doing? And, um, you know, so it's it, it's one of those those ingredients that a show just has naturally, and, and we had that. And I think, um, you know, for generations of people, our show became video comfort food for them. Yeah. Yeah, the podcast features plenty of guests, including some of the puppet variety. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go behind the scenes with people. We're going to um, work. John Stamos is is on the show. Jeff Franklin is our very first episode, and um, we talked to Karen Miller, who was a producer on the show. We talked to Mike Binder, who's a director friend of mine, and we were roommates for years before Full House. Uh, so it's a very eclectic mix of people that I probably would not have met had it not been for Full House. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, can you help me out with something? As a, as a very quickly ageing man, I'm worried that John Stamos looks exactly the same as he did 40 <laughs> years ago. This, it, it, it upsets me. <laughs> I, uh, I've been trying to drink the exact same water that he does. <laughs> and it's just, you know, I've still got grey in my hair and my beard. I don't understand it. But he's, uh, he's like my brother. We're... Uh, we're so close, and, and uh, I just love him uh, dearly. But, uh, yeah, he's got that fountain of youth thing going, which is pretty frustrating. Yeah. And we love that you dedicate the first episode to your friend, someone we always did enjoy uh, interviewing over the years, Bob Saget. Yeah, Bob is... Uh, I met Bob when I was just 18 years old, and we were brothers. Um, he has left a huge hole in, um, in our hearts, um, Bob was kind of the connective tissue between all of us. He would always be the first one to call or uh, start a chat or start a text string. And, um, you know, he was just kind of the, the pulse of, of Full House, you know. And uh, we miss him dearly. Uh, he and I had 
you know, so much history together. And uh, I, I truly, truly miss him. I, I think about him all the time. I'll be driving in my truck thinking, oh, I have to call Bob and do this silly bit with him. But, um, mm. you know, I uh, I keep his spirit alive with shows like yours talking about how wonderful yeah. he was. Gee, he would have been dangerous on your podcast, wouldn't he? <laughs> he, would have, he sat on this couch, he sat on this couch with us and we had the bleep machine on, <laughs> on, on yes. the turbo. Yeah, that, that, that's Bob. He was always triple R rated, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I used to I used to tell people that he was my filthy sister, and he used <laughs> yes. to love that. Yeah. <laughs> um, success, obviously, at Full House all due to, to this amazing loyal fan base, uh, many of whom live here in Australia. Uh, were you always aware of its popularity, the show's popularity down under? John Stamos told me he said, "You know, you you've got to go to Australia. You're a big star there." And I and I said, "I would love to go." So it's it's definitely on my bucket list. I have heard the most incredible things from all my friends who've gone to Australia. And I I, I keep saying, "I've got to get there. I've got to get there." You know, and it has nothing to do with being a, a TV star there or, or a mm. celebrity. I just. I just hear that your country is beautiful and everyone who I have met from Australia is wonderful. So yeah. I, well, I have to get there. Well, it's surprising that uh, John told you anything about Australia. He could remember anything because he was drunk. Uh, next time you talk to him, <laughs> ask him ask him about Kerry Ann Kennelly and see what he remembers about that story. Oh, Why yeah. don't you? Oh, I know. He... Uh... He walks like a dog with his tail between his legs when you mention that one. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, so that's a good story for we, your podcast. Mm, and it's a whole chapter in John's book as well. Um, thank you so <laughs> much. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's great talking to you. Love seeing all the, the old footage and reliving those beautiful memories. You can stream new yeah. episodes from Dave's podcast. It's called Full House Rewind from Friday. Dave, thanks for doing that with us. Please come down under and sit on this couch drunk for us. Would you do that one time? Oh, I would love to. Thank I you, would man. love to. I don't drink, but I'll, I'll come sober. How about All that? Right. Good stuff. Lovely to talk to you, Dave. Thank you. <laughs>